Who doesn't love pasta? I love it served in all ways, especially with summer vegetables. Today I'm going to saute zucchini and mushrooms, toss it with bow tie pasta and my no muss, no fuss ricotta cheese sauce. It makes for a perfect vegetarian dish or pair it alongside chicken. guys, so today I'm making one of my favorite pasta dishes. So I'm making a sauteed zucchini and mushroom with bow tie pasta. Bow tie pasta is my Nana's ultimate favorite pasta. My Italian grandmother, I don't know why she used bow tie pasta. I think it's just a little bit fancier. Maybe that's why. She was a little fancy. All right, so first to get started, we're going to boil our bow tie. We have about three quarters of a pound in salted water. So we're gonna bring that to a boil, let it cook for about 12 minutes, and then we need to saute our vegetables. So in my skillet, I'm gonna start off with, with about three tablespoons of olive oil. You could use canola oil, and we're gonna saute the zucchini. You could also use squash and sliced white mushrooms. So I went ahead earlier, I prepped my mushrooms, I prepped my zucchini. So if you have larger zucchini, you just want to quarter it. If you have smaller zucchini, you can just have it. So we think, think, think bite size. All right, so we're gonna saute this, season it first. You always have to season in layers. Remember, I tell you that all the time. That way, in the end, you have full flavor. So we're going to season, saute, until they're tender. All right, now it's time for the shallots. So our zucchini and mushroom, they're like tender crisp at this point. And now we need to finish cooking the shallots. So basically I just took extra large shallots. Sometimes when you're in the grocery store, they could be really teeny tiny. You want the larger shallots and then just slice them. Look how beautiful they look with that beautiful purple color. So we're just gonna saute these until tender, just a few minutes, and then add our garlic. Just for a little sneak heat, I have some red pepper flakes. You could add a little pinch, or if you like it spicy, a little bit more. And you know your garlic is perfectly sauteed when you smell it. Once you smell it, because it cooks really quick, then you're good to go. All right, so we're just gonna cut the heat, wait for our pasta to finish cooking, and then add the remainder of the ingredients. So here I have some roasted red peppers. These are just from the jar and I slice them. It adds beautiful color, a delicious flavor, and then here is our sauce. So our sauce is super easy, no muss, no fuss. I have some good olive oil, and then whole milk ricotta cheese. So it makes it creamy and delicious and so satisfying. So in the grocery store, in your cheese aisle, you will, you'll find hand-dipped or homemade ricotta cheese. You can find that, buy that. Otherwise, you'll find the ricotta cheese over near your dairy aisle, and that is fine too, but buy the whole milk. I'm just gonna stir this so it's all equally combined. Look how delicious this looks already. And then as soon as our pasta is done cooking, we're gonna drain it and add it right into the skillet, toss it, and that's it. Look how beautiful. All those gorgeous colors, so creamy. Wait until you taste this easy sauce. And then to finish, some Italian flat leaf parsley. Then just garnish it right over the top. 
Look how beautiful. Come on, simple, easy, delicious. Now we gotta taste it. It's still really hot. So good. This peanut is so flavorful. Absorbing that olive oil and garlic. Mmm. Now remember, when you drain your pasta, save some of that liquid. That way, if you want to thin your sauce, you have flavorful liquid to do that. So good. I add just a little bit of that pasta liquid in here. It's so good. For this recipe, head over to the newspaper's website. I'm Shreem Cook This. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.